Olden Aki here with another Halo 4 campaign mission walkthrough and today I'm going to show you how to get the first of the two weekly campaign challenges for the week of September 23rd through the 29th which is Dawn Madness which requires that you complete the uh, Dawn mission on legendary difficulty with Mythic, Tilt, Tough Luck and Thunderstorm Skulls on. And uh, there we go, we're setting it up and I actually added a couple of more skulls to the four required for the challenge. I added catch to get the uh, at least one elite in a grenade throwing animation, and I added a grunt birthday party to help uh, identify uh, headshots on grunts. So, anyway, as we start the uh, campaign mission here, get through the 343 setup stuff. Now, I cannot hear what's being said while I'm doing the voiceover, so I will be guessing at the dialogue or liberally paraphrasing. We went ahead and skipped the first cut scene and as we start the mission here the chief is coming out of cryo sleep because uh, Cortana woke him up Why did you wake me? and uh, she is getting ready to uh, activate the artificial gravity and you can tell that happens when things drop out of the uh, air. She'll be happening momentarily here there they go and then she's gonna ask him to look up or tell him to look up and pull the manual release which he does and they come out and chit chat momentarily and then the chief grabs her and off we go ready to get back to work I thought you'd never ask there you go first thing you want to do here is grab that pistol and just take off and running and following this path to the right Back to the left. We'll jump here. How long was I out? Okay, to the right, to the left, down to the end of this room, and this the door will open momentarily after we get scanned by the didact and his nice orange color. And run through here to the right, and then run to the elevator doors. And then go ahead and use your action key, and then start tapping. Tap, 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 tap. When the chief turns around here, you will regain control and use your left thumb stick to climb, straight up to climb. Just push it forward, push it forward, and then when he looks to the left, go to the left with your thumb stick. Straight, looks to the right, go to the right. Straight, looks to the right, go to the right again, and then push straight with your thumb stick. And he's going to look to the left one more time, to go to the left with the thumb stick, then up, straight up. And go ahead and melee this leap. Because if you don't, he'll slice your guts out and throw you off the edge there. I found that one out the hard way. Okay. Regain control. There's actually a pistol right there, so you can ammo up. And then run through the doorway up here and assassinate the elite. I like to use the animation assassination because for some reason I, I always have problems with the simple back smack. And now I've got uh, eight grunts to take out, and they're fairly consistent on where they appear here. That's four, five, six, seven. I'm using the platform as a bit of shielding. And I think I'll take out the last one with a melee. You hit him in the front, and uh, it takes four racks with Mythic and Tilt on. Hit him in the back, it's just a simple back smack. Notice I grabbed a, a plasma pistol there, got rid of the AR, which is a totally useless weapon in the campaign. Alright, go ahead and drop the blast shield doors. And come down here and get ready for the two phantoms with boarding tubes. They'll be coming in, one on the left, one on the right. Each one will have an elite and four grunts. And I'm, I'm getting that little container out of the way because when the boarding tubes uh, punch through it will create a little bit of a uh, of a vacuum and things will just go flying to the uh, plexiglass. So here we are waiting, 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 waiting. Okay, 42 through, now those things go flying there. Now the first thing I'm going to do is, as soon as the Elite comes out, I'm going to fly over that grunt and assassinate the Elite and then try to take out as many of these grunts as possible. Well, I got a couple of them anyway. You never want to do an assassination uh, animation with a bunch of grunts around because one of them invariably EMP you like that happens. So I just, I just run right back out of the room. They will not follow you. 
This is a good place to hide and recharge. Also use the edge of the doorway as cover. Okay, and that's five down, six down, there's eight all together, remember. Okay, seven, I believe there's one more. And usually with uh, seven, six or seven down, the elite will come up to the doorway. And so we'll eventually that last run, okay. Now there's a couple of ways to deal with the elite here. Now, regardless, you have to assassinate this guy. You cannot take him out without a weapon. You have to back smack or assassinate. And the first thing I'm going to try to do, oh, if he ever gets out of the way, when he goes into patrol mode, like right there, I'm going to run down th this way, through the center, the platform, and then back out. And sometimes he will back out uh, back up to about this point and I can put a back smack on him but not this time so looks like I'm gonna have to try another approach that works sometimes sometimes it doesn't I have no idea why his behavior changes so in this particular run he, he was uh, a bit of a pain you know, so I'm, I'm looking at him. He's in patrol mode again. He'll move a little bit and stop. Clear them out. And what I'm looking for is for him to move past the doorway to the right. And he's just not cooperating. Sometimes I can clear this room in five minutes or less. But this particular run is taking a little bit longer. But patience is the key. Oh, he was he was not did not have his back to me, so when the back smack fails, turn around and run away. Okay. I'm still standing out there at the doorway. Again, patience is the key here. Alright, there he goes. Boom. That time his back was to me and I was able to back smack him. Hit him right in the spine. Alright, off to the next encounter. We've got bigger problems. Now we've got to go through an elevator. Or up an elevator here if the door ever opens. I don't know why it takes so long. Alright, up an elevator and then out left and down a corridor and then we're going to be faced with two grunts and an elite. And this is where the grenade throwing starts. There we go. Man, this is taking forever. I don't know why it's still vibrating here. Okay. Very carefully here. Take out grunt number one. Sometimes you can take out grunt number two like that. Uh, sometimes you're going to have to take him out after the elite. Now I'm getting the elite in a grenade throwing animation here. Okay, and next time I believe, as soon as I see that grenade go by, I come in and start sprinting. And now he did not stay in the grenade throwing animation, but I was able to run by, spin around real quick, and back smack him. Notice where he is at over by the tables. That, that will be the position he's usually in when that happens. And I'm just swapping out uh, the storm rifle, or the plasma pistol for the storm rifle, because we're going to do a little juggling act here. Uh, as soon as I take care of, of the next uh, s section here of grunts, there's three grunts there and an elite. And the elite, generally as soon as you fire on the grunts or take out one of the grunts, the elite retreats down the stairwell. Alright, so now what we're going to do is a technique or a tactic called uh, stockpiling. I'm bringing up some plasma, those three plasma pistols from back there. Just double checking where I see where that lead is. Okay. Uh, the one, the plasma pistol that I brought plus the two from the grunts that I took out. And then I've got three more up here for a total of six. And that should be enough, especially with full ammo. Since uh, famine is not on, we have full ammo and drop weapons, not half ammo. So that makes it what I'm about to do a lot easier. 
Alright, now, now I'm juggling uh, the storm rifle and the plasma pistol up here. Double checking that elite down there. I want to make sure he, he retreats down that quarter. Okay, and I'm throwing the. Uh, using juggling here or weapon swapping, I'm throwing the plasma pistols over the railing. There we go. And as it turns out, I really didn't need all these, but it never hurts to uh, have more than you need. It's a lot better than having not enough. So, again, we're just juggling weapons here to get the plasma pistols over the railing. And we're down to the last couple here. Last one or two. There we go, over the railing. See if there's any more left. Nope, I think we got them all. Alright, then I'll jump over the railing. I'd be very careful here because that first elite, there's actually two down this quarter. The first one is a grenade throw. As soon as he sees you, he's going to start throwing grenades. What I'm doing here, oh, I'm it. There we go. What I'm doing here is I'm juggling a couple of the uh, plasma pistol in under the stairwell. And as it turns out, the stairwell is actually very good cover. Uh, grenades bounce off of it. And what I'm doing here is I am peppering the uh, Elite uh, with a plasma pistol to try to pop the shield. There they go. Got him with one uh, plasma pistol. That's uh, actually pretty good. Usually it takes two. Now I want to grab the storm rifle. And for some reason... This was really weird. For some reason, I think I know what happened here. For some reason, I, you know, I was not having a good, uh... ah, that's what it was. All right, I, I swamped out the pistol for the uh, storm rifle instead of the plasma pistol. So, my bad, there we go. There we go. Now we're, now we're working. And I'm just juggling in some more plasma pistols here under the stairs. Sometimes this second elite will duck cover on the left and we'll have to pepper him many times just to get the shields to drop. But not today. He's just standing there like a knucklehead. And uh, the storm rifle is weakening his shields. At some point here, I will swap out. There we go. With the plasma pistol. There, there goes the shields. Headshot. He's done. With mythic and tilt on, you cannot noob combo. You cannot EMP and EMP with a plasma pistol and a headshot. EMP will not drop their shields. So you have to use uh, that peppering technique to get the shields down. All right, take out the four grunts that were down there. And we're going to do one more stockpiling exercise, although I don't need quite as many down here because the elite that I'm going to face has weaker shields than the ones that I originally faced. Even with Mythic and Tilbon, his shields aren't all that great. Oh, come on now. Oh, there, it, there it is. Kind of threw it off in that little area there. All right. And I'm going to go up there and get one more. Okay. Now, before we tackle the uh, elite, we want to get rid of the four grunts that are down there. And then there's one. And two, and, oops, and when you take out two of them, the other two will come around that corner there, around that crate. And there it goes. There's all four of them down quite easily. And now we're going to juggle uh, a couple of plasma pistols up here to this white container. Right about there. I'm going to get the other one.
There we go. And let's see if I can find that elite. Uh, I want to get catching with, uh, through the uh, hmm, through the pipes here. There should be a gap. Oh, there we go. All right, so just start peppering him. Notice I'm using that using the pipes as cover and just getting him through the gap there. So shield pop, boom, headshot. He's gone. Now I got two shielded jackals come through these open doorways. Start with the one on the. Uh, on the right here. And that was pretty easy because he didn't have a shield set to me. This one's a little tougher. Even actually with the uh, with the needler you have to be careful. You can EMP him and get him and it'll knock his shields back momentarily. But you gotta switch back to the pistol pretty quick. Like this. Boom. There he goes. He's gone. Alright, let's go load up on pistol ammo. There's actually a 100% full plasma pistol over here, although as it turns out I really don't need it. Now I'm coming into an area where there's going to be eight grunts, two shielded jackals, and three elites. And I first want to take out the shielded jackals. They're up there on the, on the outside corridors, about halfway down. You just want to really carefully ease up here. And take them out so they're, you know, while their shields aren't facing you. And then take out the grunts. Be very careful because these little suckers will throw grenades at you. So I, I fire and go back to cover, fire and cover. Notice he was already reaching for a grenade there. There's one right by the doorway. There we go. Got him. Again, you don't have to really be aggressive or rush these guys. We're not doing a speed run here. I got one or two more left. Okay, he's gone, and there's one more down at the end. Now, there's a lot of different ways to take out these elites to advance, but I'm going to use an approach that just bypasses all three of them. What I'm doing here is I'm banging on the uh, on the window here to get that third elite out, and he actually has a concussion rifle, so you got to be a little careful there. Banging over here on the left to get their attention drawn to the left. And okay, I'm trying to get a couple of them focused on the left side. Come back over to the right, and then dodge that grenade, and run and jump, and try to dodge the fire, and get through that door as quick as you can. And we just bypassed all three elites without having to do anything, not having to take them out. Now we'll just wait for this door to open. And I don't know if you can see this, but there's like a there's like a goblin or Halloween mask uh, kind of painted in that little door. Or just the irregularity in the middle. And we'll see that again when we come back in. Now the idea here originally was to go around to the left side, fight your way through all kinds of cubbies, including several elites, to get to a missile launch switch and then have to come back and fight a bunch of more uh, coveys including a couple of elites to uh, actually uh, get the missile to launch but we're going to use another approach here that's called the back door skip we're coming up to the back of this uh, platform here and jump up on these fallen beams jump again you can hardly see them get in underneath a little bit and then kind of work our way up right here and jump up on this inverted T-beam onto the highest part of it. And again, you can just barely see this. All right, turn around, position yourself so, and do a crouch jump, holding the crouch all the way through the jump. Uh, if you don't do that, you won't make the jump. And run over here, activate the uh, missile launch key, uh, control, and jump down and run straight across because we're going to have to unjam the blast doors. Haul it as fast as you can because the cubbies are coming in after you. There's a phantom coming in. There we go. And there goes the missile, and we're almost done. Uh, we've got to run back to the escape pods uh, here momentarily. We take the cruiser out, and I'm looking up there and seeing all these other Covenant ships saying, well, what good did that do? 
We get scanned by the Didac again. With a nice Halloween orange color. And then when we regain control. Opening the metal shell and uh, activated gravity well, but anyway, we regain control. We haul it back inside, and be very careful to take a pass so that you don't have any loose objects in your way because they'll start to get sucked out. And the waypoint tells us to come in here, and we come to this doorway, and lo and behold, there's another little Halloween mask. Again, I don't know if you can see that or not. Looks like a goblin. Nice smile on his face. And the door opens. We come in here, make a left, come right to the corner here, and stop momentarily until that blast goes off. Okay, back through here to the right. Stop right here because there's a bunch of stuff falling down. You don't want to die at this point. Jump down, run through here. And then the next room, do the same thing. Stop momentarily. Let everything fall. And then just take off again. Okay, I'll smack the gr uh, grunt, didn't have to. Alright, over here we want to sprint jump across the gap. Make it easily, and then just keep running to the waypoint. Run, run, run. And through that doorway, and boom, we're caught in gravity well as well. And that essentially is the end of the mission. Uh, we've got to go through this forced cutscene as we go spinning off with all the wreckage and everything into the uh, gravity well down to the planet's surface. And uh, that's it. That's Dawn with uh, Mythic, Tilt, Thunderstorm, and Tough Luck, and my additional Catch and Grunt Birthday Skulls on. Uh, the Mission End symbol should pop, uh, show here momentarily, uh, followed by the Challenge popping. I do hope this helped you in your quest for the uh, weekly campaign challenge of Don Madness. This is Old Naki signing off. Take care.